So I wanted to make a video about an hour ago when I woke up with the sun rising and talking about a lot of depressed people, they don't like to wake up in the mornings. Um, not Most of us don't like to wake up in the mornings, but you know, that reason of getting out of bed and doing something, and I would have liked to say it's really nice to get out of bed, especially in the summer, and see the sun rising. Unfortunately, some days when you wake up, it's very cloudy, and you look like you've just woken up for hours with your hair messy, just like mine is today. But <clears throat> there is a bright side to this. And I'm not just saying getting up early, but starting your day and not letting your day drift because you can get up really late and then look at your watch and it's 3 p.m. Like, I've only been up 20 minutes. And that's what depression can lead to. You just giving up, losing half your day and say, yeah, I'll make it up at night. Yeah, you can. And I agree, I am very productive at night but you need to see some of the day too. You need to get out the house and walk around and that will start to make your um, pleasure particles kick in, your endorphins run a little. I said a very light jog. It was one minute uphill, but it woke me right up and it did actually make me want to start my day a bit better. Hey, another thing I did is I went to the bakery and got some chocolate croissants and a tuna baguette, fresh. That's a good way to start your day. So I'm in San Sedoni. It's a little town outside Barcelona where I can actually get some peace. <laughs> Even though there are the odd uh, couple around and people making noise. But in general, it's a hell lot more peaceful than London or big cities that we travel to. But what I wanna get, and I am waffling, because I'm still waking up, <laughs> is you really, really, really need to do little things because them little things add up and they make you feel like you've achieved something every day. So me just going and getting breakfast and having some croissants to have with my tea, you know, and my coffee in the morning. But do the little things, you think, what's the point? But once you've done one little thing, that leads to another little thing. And that leads to a medium thing. And sometimes that can lead to a big thing. And that's what I want. I want you to start taking them baby steps, however small they are. It could just be making your bed. I don't know, it sounds silly, but the act of making your bed can make you just feel a little bit more prepared, a little bit more happy, a little bit like you've achieved something. And you have, you made your bed. Go out. Just start walking. You don't have to look great. Just put a hat on, some shades, get out in the morning, walk, just walk. And you'll find after 10 minutes, 15, you're starting to feel that tiny bit better, maybe a lot better. Go and get yourself something from a bakery. Enjoy your morning. You can always go back to bed, I just advise not to. These little things are coping mechanisms. The coping mechanisms that you should start with before you tackle the big things because they'll start overwhelming you. And you're thinking of doing the medium and big things straight away and then that thought of it is overwhelming and you stop. So what I really want you to do is start with the little things. Start with the little things that you can do immediately. They're quick they're efficient and they do make you happier. I urge you to try this. It works for me. A little walk, do something, but whatever you do, make sure you get out of the house just early on. Even walk around the block and go back into your house. People that work from home, they lack a lot of motivation sometimes and a good tip is to Get up as if you're going to work. Get dressed, have a shower, then walk around the block and go back in your house and sit somewhere though you don't normally sit TV, uh, sit and watch TV. And then 
start your day. Hope this helped. I'm going to start my day now. Over and out. Bexter.